This is Denise Sorette with LadiesBehindTheBeat.tv. Percussionist, vocalist, songwriter, and producer Esther Godinez is here playing the cajon and she's talking about her new CD. It's titled This Time and I thought the title was very appropriate because this time, this time I'm going for everything. And so you got some good news about your CD too, right? Yes, I got charted. I was on the top 50, you know, which is good for me because I don't even have a record company yet. I have original songs and I have cover songs that I've arranged and I play with my band, which is based in Minnesota. I also have musicians that I perform with here in L.A. Oh, I have a song that I wrote that's called Leprechaun Dance. Uh -huh. And when I was thinking about it, I said, oh, I hear Stokely playing like Weather Reportish. And I, and I gave him the basic, like, do, 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 bachaka, bachaka, do, 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 you know, things like that. And he just took it everywhere. And then the melody, I wanted Steel Pants, and he plays Steel Pants. So he plays the melody and drums on it, because it came out perfect. And it's just a happy melody. It's an instrumental. I started singing first, uh, salsa and salsa bands in the Bay Area. And I was playing a lot of maracas, claves, guidos, while I was singing. Then I moved to Europe. And in Europe is where I really started playing a lot of percussion, congas, bongo, timbal. And then I started, and cajon. Then I started touring with pop and rock bands there, and I just kept going. Uh, I love this instrument. I, I love it because when I first heard it, I thought someone was playing the drums. This one is from Madrid, Spain. Uh, I used to live there, so a lot of great cajones are made in Spain, as they are in Cuba and Colombia. But this one... It has a very nice low end. And it has like a little, some of them, the first one I had that was in, built in Spain, I had it there when I was living there. It was like this, uh, but it wasn't as heavy, it was a little lighter wood. And they have a metal strip that's in the back going across this part, right? But now this one has it on the two sides coming up. And that's a really cool effect because then you have the buzz from top to bottom. Tell us about some of the people that you've played with. I played with George Benson. I played with Prince. I played with Lemon Brown, the Brothers Johnson, Larry Graham. Uh, and then in Spain, I played with who I call the, um, um, the Dylan of Spain. He was a singer-songwriter, rock, very famous. Joaquin Sabina, then Du Candu, then I started playing with some of the flamencos, Chichos, a Spanish artist named Hueco, and an Italian artist, uh, Georgia. That was really good too. And what is it about percussion that you love? The different places you can play. Uh, just play sometimes within the spaces and not overbearing and just give it a nice effect. And each style of music, each genre of music, has a different way, a different approach, which I learned when I was playing with Prince and George Benson. It's totally different. It's more sparse. It has a different placement, you know, generally. But I, it's just great. It gives it another, the 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 sprinkles, no? Yes. On music. Yes, it's very colorful. Mm -hmm. And I think there's something special that women add, uh, uh, all the different colors that they can add to music. What do you think about that? I think, and it's not to be sexist, but I, well, men and women are different, but I think women have a different approach to playing. They can be aggressive, just as aggressive, but in another way. But their approach has, I don't know what word to use, more of, it has a feminine side, but with that aggressive passion, the passion that women have. You can find out more about Esther on MySpace and Facebook and get her new CD. This time. This time.